So ladies and gentlemen, in recent days we've been looking at some of the ups and downs of the 1970s uh, Montreal Canadiens Stanley Cup dynasty. Now we all know that he won the cup in 1971, 73 and four years consecutive between 76 and 79. Uh, but some of the decisions were, were kind of strange. We already talked about Glenn Sather being brought in for uh, the 1975 season and a second player that was brought in that year which is still a head scratcher for me because even though he was a talented defenseman, Montreal was loaded with rear guards and really the, I don't know, you're just a body. I mean, that's about it. Now, Don Ory, uh, with a nickname, he was called Elbows. Uh, he played 979 career games in the NHL with Boston where he won two cups, St. Louis, the Habs. Pittsburgh, New York, and uh, the Rangers, and the Colorado Rockies. Now at 6 feet, 175 pounds, he first drew prominence uh, in the Niagara Falls Flyers uh, program, the OHA, before being signed uh, as a very uh, young prospect uh, by the Bruins. Now he was known as a defensive defenseman, uh, for he's also shot blocking and uh, big body checks. Didn't see it with Montreal very often. Now, uh, because Montreal was looking at veterans to, to augment their team, bringing Glenn Sather in was one decision. Again, a head-scratcher. But uh, Don Ory, uh, in these two years of Montreal, he came over from St. Louis uh, kind of a quarter of the way in the 75 season. Um, in 128 regular season games, and uh, in uh, uh, 11 playoff games, he only had 30 points. Now, uh, consider this. 140 games for the Montreal Canadiens, you only score one goal. And uh, obviously his playoff totals will be better. But uh, let's look at the 75 season. Only a goal and 11 assists in 56 games. And only uh, 12 assists in 72 games with only 29 minutes and penalties. So what was he doing? Uh, not very much. He was let go in Pittsburgh, picked him up in 77, Rangers in 78, and in Colorado in 79. Now, what really stands out, could he be the worst player that, that uh, skated in games for Team Canada at the Summit Series in 72 against the Russians? He was part of that uh, losing opening game lineup 7-3 uh, against uh, the Russians in Montreal. Didn't have a very good game. Uh, I've been an NHL fan all my life, and I can basically tell you uh, I'm glad that he had some success, but he was never a player that really stood up in my mind. And, you know, these marginal 5th and 6th and 7th defensemen were all over the place uh, at the time. The Hilden brothers, for example, and, uh, you know, uh, um, some of the, the, the players that uh, expanded from the Rangers, like Doug Jarrett and player, players like that. Anyway. Don Ory, uh, there was a game uh, on a Saturday night, I think it was a, early in the 75-76 season, Ray Cavier was doing a call, and he made a mistake that led to a goal, and he basically questioned live in the air why that guy was there in the first place. It wasn't as bad as Henri Richard saying, uh, uh, you know, uh, Al McNeil was incompetent in 71, but, you know, it's a head-scratcher. I mean, you had Bouchard, Van Boxmeer, Chartres, Lapointe, Savard, Robinson. You had Bob Murdoch before that. He was he let Bob Murdoch go to make room for Don Ory. Uh, I don't remember any article saying he was good on the bench or in a dressing room. He was just a body. Anyway, I uh, to make it a show alone, it's 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 a very important thing. But <laughs> like I said, it's a head scratcher. Just like a previous podcast, John Vac Boxmere being let go, Glenn Sanders being brought in. Why a player like Glenn Goldup, who had talent, wasn't given a fair shake in Montreal. Randy Rhoda, Guy Charon, Danny Grant, uh, Bobby Sheehan, there was some, Dave Gardner, there was some talent there. You know, uh, Wilson on defense, the, 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 the later uh, coach there. Right? So it was a weird time in the mid-70s. I mean, God, he had Wayne Thomas, Michelle uh, Plass, and Buddy LaRock replacing Dryden in 74. That's another head-scratcher. Anyway, we won't talk about too much anymore. So, ladies and gentlemen, on this COVID Monday, wish everybody a uh, uh, happy uh, week this week. It's going to be uh, wet and windy in New Brunswick for the next couple of days. Be careful on the roads and keep your stick in the ice.
Bye.